Pinocchio and Dumbo were a combination. The two films in the early war years were the only reason that Walt Disney World exists today. The company was really strapped for cash because of the disaster with Fantasia. When Dumbo was done, it was a, because it was just in starting of production, all of the characters were determined and the story was laid out. And it's the first film that Walt didn't absolutely put his fingerprint on every detail of the production before it got started. He had to trust the rest of his production crew to get the job done. His studio was under strike, being organized by a union at the time. And the people that kept the movie in production because he had to get it to the box office were all the people who were not on strike. So when they made it, if you see the film again, look closely at the characters of the clowns because each of the clowns is a caricature of one of the strikers that were outside striking the studios while this film was being made. Pinocchio is another one of the five masterpieces in this light blue background section. There are sequences at a cost per foot of film that no other studio up until the time this was created had ever spent and it was like five to one more expensive because of the number of individual cells in a single frame, stacking cells on frames. In all of these pictures, moving pictures, the backgrounds are static and the characters move in front. Nothing in the background moves. Pinocchio is the exception. When it was started in the early war years, Walt wanted to create a step of animation art that was beyond the dreams of anyone else in the business. And part of that was having the background move as well. When Walt ran out of money because of the failure of Fantasia, which was starting to affect production costs at Disney, the best of what he could do had already been done. And so what his aim was from then was just get it out. There is a marked difference in the quality of animation in the film Pinocchio from beginning to end. But remember that the film is not done sequentially like a book. They would do the hard ones first, and that might be at the end of the film with the, the whale scene and the beginning of the film with the clocks and the clock shop. And they were all done before they ever got to the dialogues of the characters moving through telling the stories.